Good day, welcome to today's class. If this is your first time on this channel, click on the red subscription button so that when I drop more videos, you will get notified. And you also want to subscribe to the channel. Yes, you don't want to miss it. So click on the subscription button. Now, for the sake of this class, we'll be doing capital gain tax, as you can see on the board. But in this class, we'll be doing capital gain tax with connected persons. Fine. The question you need to ask is, when we say connected person, what do you mean by connected person? Connected person can mean relatives, can mean families, can mean siblings, and, you know, people that you are related with. We call them people you are connected with. But there's something I need to explain vividly better before I actually proceed with this class. And what is that thing? The thing is the concept of value. Yeah. Or well, let me see. Fear value. Yeah. The concept of value in taxation, whether in taxation, whether in financial accounting, whether in cost accounting. The concept of fair value is very, very, very important. And what do I mean by fair value is very, very important. If you are familiar with all this excise duty, um, import tax, and all these tax that is with importation and exportation of goods and services, if you are familiar with them very, very well, they will not ask you to, they will not ask you for the price of what you buy to be able to tax you. Rather, they will estimate the market value for that thing. For example, now, if this marker that I use for this class, if the market value of this marker is 10,000 Naira, for example, and I bought it 1,000 Naira, probably maybe because the person I'm buying it from, we are related or is my brother or something, I bought it 1,000 Naira. Now, for the sake of computation of tax and all of that, they are not going to consider the amount at which I bought it. Rather, they are going to consider the market value. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Why we do that in taxation. It is very easy. Now, consider two individuals, A and B. Now, A and B are not related, but A wants to buy a machine from B. A knows very well that... He wants to buy the machine 30 million era but because he wants to avoid paying tax and all of that he now decided to lie that her no B is my relative i'm buying this machine for seven million era meanwhile he bought it for 30 million era he lied he bought it for 30 million era meanwhile he said he bought it for seven million era so that if you are estimating taxation according to the amount he bought it then a lot of people will always reduce the price or the value of goods and services just to pay less taxation so that is why we are not consigned with the transaction value, no. And I will tell you why I'm explaining this. We are not consigned with the transaction value, rather we are consigned with the market value of whatever we are dealing with. So capital gain tax of connected person is when one person is selling a, a, a chargeable asset to another person and is not selling it at the market value. So if the asset is not being sold at the market value, we are going to use the market value for estimation enough of talk let's take one or two questions and we we'll look at what i mean by that so that we can solve together so we have a question here we read together and we solve together in april 2004 dr mensa acquired a house at a cost of 60 million naira. other acquisition expenses incurred were 100,000 naira for legal fees and 200,000 naira for valuation fee on november 30th 2004 a duplex was constructed in the excess space at a cost of 12 million naira. first off on june 1st 2005 the duplex was sold to uncle jimmy for 16 million naira. the actual market value was 20 million naira, and the value of the remaining property was 68 million naira. On 1st January 2006, Dr. Mensah sold the remaining property for 72 million naira after paying the following expenses. Improvements, 1 million. Estate agency, 400,000. Legal fees, 120,000. Advertisement, 240,000. So we are told to compute the capital gain tax for the relevant years of assessment. Good. First of all, if you don't understand this question, I would like you to go back pause it, read through it, and digest it. And secondly, if you go back to the question, it says that on June 4, 2005, the duplex was sold to Uncle Jimmy for 16 million naira. 
Full stop. The actual, actual market value was 20 million. That should tell you that Uncle Jimmy is related to Dr. Mensa. So the it was sold for 16 million. Meanwhile, the actual value is 20 million. That's the max. So we are going to consider the market value and not the value it was sold. Let's let's do something on the board. Now, so for the question, if you go back to the question, we have Dr. Mensa. Okay. Dr. Mensa. So we want to compute computation of the capital gain tax computation of capital gain tax. So computation of capital gain tax. But if you look at it, I said it in my earlier video that capital gain tax is computed based on current year basis. Yeah, I've explained that. So if you have not watched my video, I'll drop the link here. Make sure you watch it. And now we've gotten completion of capital gain tax. So if we go back to the question, on June 1st, 2005, the duplex was sold to Uncle Jimmy for 16 million euros. So on June 1st, we are selling part of the property we bought. So that will go for June 1st, which is 2005. 2005 year of assessment. And I told you that when doing um, computer, um computation of capital gain tax we are using actual year basis so that will be first of january 2005 to 31st of december 2005 so on june 1st the duplex was sold to uncle jimmy for 16 million euro. the actual market value was 20 million euro. so sales proceed our sales proceed will be the market value and not the amount it was sold so the market value is 20 million naira. 20 million naira. That is the actual market value. So the question proceed and says that the duplex. Now, if you go back to the question, you see that it was a duplex that was sold. And in that same question, they said a duplex was constructed in the SX space at a cost of 12 million. Naira. So the cost of constructing the duplex was 12 million naira. And it was sold to Uncle Jimmy for 16 million naira. Meanwhile, the actual market value is 20 million naira. So less less cost of assets. So how much is the cost of asset? The cost of the asset is 12 million naira. 12 million naira. So if you subtract 20 to from um 12 from 20, you have 8 million naira. As the capital gain capital gain yeah the reason why we don't have we are not subtracting any expenses is because if you go back to the question there's no expenses relating to sales or anything it's a connected person so it's my brother I don't need to start making advertisement or anything for who is going to buy it's ready now so computation of our capital gain tax so capital gain tax will now be 10 percent of 8 million and that's 800 thousand so this is my capital gain tax for the first year and if you go on to the question that is not all the question proceeds further to say that on first january 2006 dr mensa sold the remaining property for 72 million naira. Now the remaining property, it was a house Dr. Mensa bought. He constructed whatever on it and he sold it to the brother. So but the remaining property after selling part of it to Dr. to his uncle is what we now want to sell. So we come back here, which is it was sold in the year 2006. If you go back to the question, it was sold in the year 2006 and ranging from first of January 2006 to 31st of December 2006. So what is the sales proceed? Dr. Mensa sold the remaining property for 72 million euro. So sales proceed. Sales proceed. The sales proceed of the assets is 72 million euro. That's the sales proceed. So the sales proceed is 72 million. I had to clean that so that we can ask fish to work it out. It's still the same 
same. So the sales proceed was 72 million naira. So is, are there any costs or any expenses he incurred for him to be able to sell the asset? Yes, there are expenses he incurred. We have the improvement fee. But the improvement fee, the agency, estate agency, legal fee, advertisement. No. The cost he incurred for him to be able to sell the assets, improvement fee is no part. Yes, improvement fee is part of the cost of the assets. Because I said it in my first video on capital gain tax that any money you spend on an asset to increase the value or probably for you to make it more efficient or to work better, that cost or that amount you spend on that asset is part of the cost. So improvement fee is not the expenses you incurred on the no is part of the cost of the asset so don't 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 mix that together but the expenses we spent to be able to sell off these assets we have less so less our we have the estate agency estate agency estate agency of four hundred thousand we have le legal fees legal fees of 120,000 we have advertisement advertisement of 240,000 so if you sum everything up you will get 760,000 so 760,000 for you to get your net sales you will subtract so 72 million minus so that will give us 71 million 240,000. So this amount we get now is our net sales. It's our net sales. So the next thing we need to do now is to subtract the cost of the asset plus some you know related expenses we incurred. But if you go back to the question, I said in April 2004, Dr. Mensa acquired a house at a cost of 60 million euros. So the cost of the house is 60 million naira so the costs less cost of acquisition cost of acquisition is 60 million naira 60 million naira yes on buying the assets he incurred some other expenses which are part i said it in my first video that we classify them as part of the cost of the assets so other expenses incurred were 100,000. So, other expenses, other expenses was incurred were 100,000. Other expenses, other, okay, sorry. Other expenses incurred were 100,000 for legal fees. So, legal fee is 100,000. 200,000 for valuation fee. So, valuation fee. Is two hundred thousand. What again? Now, so these are the costs from the question. These are the costs we incurred. So, legal fee hundred thousand, valuation fee two hundred thousand, and don't forget that I said there is this particular cost improvement. I said we are going to add it yes because it's part of the asset. It's part of the cost that makes the asset to improve the assets. I told you that they are all part of it cost of the asset so improvement is one million naira. so we are going to come here improvement improvement is one million so if we sum all this up one million so we get 61 million six hundred thousand if we add all this we have 61 million three hundred thousand so these are the costs of acquisition we subtract it from the 71 million two hundred forty thousand. we get nine million nine hundred and forty thousand so this is the capital gain so we come here our capital gain is nine million nine hundred and forty thousand and after getting our capital gain the next thing we need to do is to, is to charge our capital gain Tax, which is ten percent. So, capital gain tax, gain tax, should be ten percent 
of 9 million 940 thousand so we should give us 9940 no yes 994 thousand yes i should give us 994 thousand naira so this is how to calculate or how to estimate capital gain tax that has to do with connected persons so i said it earlier on that you have to consider the value and the value of the asset not the as the amount it was sold so we've come to the end of this class please subscribe to this channel because in my next class i'll be doing video on I, um, capital gain tax on higher purchase capital gain tax on um you know lots lots and lots more to still touch and you don't want to miss them click the rest of the button i'll see you right away in my next video class thank you